what are your thoughts on critical race theory? Let us know in the comments below. This is Kate Malley for Broadcasting Buffalo. Ketchum Hall is where teachers and writers are born, but does the beauty on the outside really reflect the conditions on the inside? So we're heading to Buffalo State. It's the first day of my last semester and I'm so excited. So this is what an average commute is like from the suburbs to the city. Yes, let's go. study room and Butler Library here at Buffalo State. This is study room six. Absolutely love it. I feel like my own CEO when I'm in this room. So it's my first Friday at school and 
we have to go to school despite 12 inches of snow. Um, this is my first time I'm having Professor Knowles for documentary film analysis, so I'm so excited. And I also have Chaucer. Um, Buffalo State had a lockdown because there was an active shooter um, at McKinley High School, which is right near my school. It was crazy. I was in the library when the guy announced, this is not a drill. There is an active shooter nearby. You need to um, go in a place and lock yourself in. Um, so I was in the library at the time, and then I knocked on the door of my where I work at, which is at the Academic Center for Excellence. And um, so I took shelter in place and locked down with my coworkers and classmates. Um, but that was like my first real experience with the lockdown. Right now, I'm just gonna send some emails to some sources, to some students, especially those who were locked down in the student union because my coworkers were texting their friends who were in the student union saying they're letting people in the student union, letting people go in and out, which is not okay when there's an active shooter nearby. Um, you don't know where the active shooter could be, um, but there were, and then my, even people were surprised, like, wait, they're letting us, um, you know, they're lifting the shelter, it went from lockdown to shelter in place, and everybody's like, they're lifting it? Like, they didn't even catch the shooter. Um, but then again, others were saying, you know, they could be anywhere at this point, the freeway is right there, um, but I'm gonna send out those emails to some sources. Okay, so I've gathered my sources. I've tried speaking with the supervisor of the student union um, who directed me to um, speak with media relations. And then media relations, the assistant said, um, we don't have anything to do with it. We're just the middleman. We get our um, orders from the higher up of what to say, but I really just needed a source from the student union. And then the student union, according to them, they were given orders um, to direct any press to media relations. So I'm just getting bounced back and forth here. Um, so I'm having trouble finding my sources, but that's a journalist's job to persevere. So wish me luck on that. Um, but I'm gonna get students' perspectives and faculty's perspectives. Super Bowl 56. So now I'm getting off of work, gotta turn in my badge, and heading to the movie premiere of neutral ground across the street for a documentary film. Spray the table following COVID protocol after you.
AJ and Elijah. How Hello. was how was your first interview, AJ? Um, I think it went all right. I didn't mumble too much, so hopefully I got all the points across. We just met with Dr. Gordon in regards to COVID suspensions, and it was a successful interview. So I am on my way to film my first video for Online 405 Newsroom. Excited. This one's going to be talking about the current political situation in Myanmar, also known as Burma. Um, and I'm going to the president of Burmese Community Turn Services, um, his house, to interview him um, on the his thoughts on the current political situation. Because it's been a little over a year since the coup. I just finished the interview with that with the guy from Burmese Community Services and now we're gonna go get Thai food in Elmwood. Senate meeting. It was really interesting. I came for the first time because I was curious, um, you know, how does a college Senate run? Is it like how it runs in Congress? Um, and also because there was an anonymous letter published on the record and then it was going to be discussed at the meeting and the letter was saying like, oh, Buffalo State College faculty say that higher institutions of education should model ideals of democracy. And then I was like, hmm, is democracy being threatened at an institutional level? Um, and there were some interesting concerns being raised, some about, um, the phrasing of the constitution, something about full-time faculty and versus adjunct professors versus um, staff, like what like constitutes, like there's so many different bylaws. Like it makes me think of like our constitution in the United States, like the phrasing of words, like it can't be like too vague or like what's being stated in the document. So phrasing and wording is very, um, it's very important, especially in legal documents. And then that's what I found really interesting. But now, after a really interesting meeting, we are gonna go get Anderson's onion rings. That is a specialty and a favorite here at, here in Williamsville or in Buffalo in general. And it's um, a snowy, wintry slash rainy day. So why not? And then we're gonna go watch, um, what are we watching? We're gonna watch either King Richard or Last Night in Soho.
So now we're going to Walmart to get more puppy pads. And we just came from church today. It's Easter. Easter Sunday and our little munchkin is, Caitlin's little munchkin's leaving. So now we're trying to find Oscar a brush. I don't want one that's too hard for him. Got this sure. one. Um, and here's the puppy pads. I thought this one, the soft monkey, is cute. Huh? He likes soft stuff though. She has the she level two. The bottom, okay? Oh my god, that'll drive me crazy. First trip to Elmwood. We're gonna go to Elmwood to get my graduation cap again. Kiss of the Spider Woman. I haven't decided which. 
500 board essay I'm going to do that one on. And then I also have my Chaucer final paper to do and a Chaucer final which we are taking actually in class for that final. This is the first time I'm um, returning to school after the Tops mass shooting. This guy came all the way from Conklin, New York and it was a white supremacist and um, it was just awful. So, um, it's really sad and the coincidence thing is that for my creative conference I actually did rhetorical strategies of far left and far right extremist organizations and then I, during my research I found that, well as most commonly known, um, one common belief among white nationalist far right extremist organizations is the Great Replacement Theory, which essentially states that yeah. white people are being replaced yeah. um, by people of color, which causes, you know, like xenophobia and racism. Um, but yeah. And also, um, President Joe Biden is going to come to Buffalo. I wonder where he's going to come. My guess is he's either going to go to Tops to speak or yeah. he's going to go to City Hall. And tomorrow I don't have any finals. So if mom and I do find out, we're yeah. going to go try and see if we can go see President Joe Biden. So I just finished my senior seminar of communication society, Dr. Lau's class. Um, I just did my presentation on rhetorical strategies of far left and far right extremist organizations. Um, and it really pertains to what's going on, especially with the Saturday tragedy of the top shooting market. And um, the, the FBI is investigating a social media post of um, threats that were made to different stores and Walmart on Sheridan Drive um, is not the closest Walmart to us but it is like in our area oh. in Amherst and then they've been threatening other stores too um, saying that they're going to go shoot up other stores <sighs> when I was going to present actually I should tell you this when I was going to present to my school uh, I mean to my class um, about investigating a um, analyzing an extremist organization group that's actually in Lockport, a white nationalist group, it was immediately taken down. Like, the FBI took that down. Like, that's been on there for, like, how long? And then after the shooting, it all of a sudden gets taken down. It's here. Oh, my God, this is the president. Oh, hell no. I don't know how to explain the feeling when you get to somebody that close of like a political representative who runs this country. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to make of it. I was in, I just felt regular. Um, they wouldn't let me go in because all the press people got um, obviously uh, screened by the Secret Service agents beforehand going in. So I just finished my last homework assignment actually like an hour ago or something. But I don't even know what to make of it. My last homework assignment was uh, Dr. Ali's um, final exam, which was a 500 word essay on, um, I chose dangerous acquaintances. So I don't even know like what to make of it. Like I just can't believe it. Like that was my last homework assignment of my life. And all I have is a final tomorrow for Chaucer, which I need to study for tonight. And I can't wait, like, I don't even know how I'm going to celebrate. Like, it's crazy. Like, schoolwork is over with. 18 years and schoolwork is over with. Like, how do I process that? I just can't believe it. And I'm going to go print out my Chaucer essay right now. I thought it was supposed to be 10 pages, and I was like, oh my gosh. But it's actually only 8 to 10 pages. So I did 
eight pages and like four more lines on the ninth page but I'm just so happy like finally like th these finals like weren't even like as stressful your yeah your book everything yeah okay. like yeah I do like finals wasn't even that stressful like I was like I already know I'm gonna pass I'm just gonna take it chill and I did and because I just want to look refreshed for um for graduation day which is let's say Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday three days away so today's my last official day of classes um I'm taking my final for Chaucer which I'm so um nervous about but other than that I mean I finished my final paper, which is exciting. I'm wearing my cap today in school because when else am I gonna wear it? I'm not only gonna wear it for four hours and then take it off. And then I'm also gonna wear it um, at the communication senior send off where we're gonna get an honors cord. Hopefully the hat stays. And you need a bobby pin. Yeah. So tired. But so I just finished my last class, Chaucer. It was the final exam and it wasn't that bad. Just an essay and six short answer questions. I'm pretty sure I nailed it. So now I'm off to the potluck with the Academic Center for Excellence and I'm so excited. Now I can finally relax. All my work is done. All my schoolwork is done for the rest of my life. 18 years of education. Japanese. Um, it's not graduation day in case um, you're wondering why I have my cap on. I'm just wearing it because I'm like, um, I'm not going to wear it for four hours and just put it back in my closet, so I'm going to wear it while I can. Um, we're on our way to have Japanese and then I have to go ahead to rehearsal. So that's exciting. Oh my god. Is that my phone? Stupid don't know how to drive. Don't know how to drive! And, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to rehearsal. Rehearsal's at 2.30. I have to check the email where I'm actually supposed to meet. And then after the rehearsal, I'm gonna go to the communication honors send-off. Yippee, where we're gonna get a cord. Woo! you would do in terms of learning in new ways and, and finding ways through difficult situations. So I think that you really need to you know, talk about yourself and say, you know, we did it. We really did it. graduating today I'm just getting ready for graduation I can't wait oh my gosh um so I have on a pleather dress that's how it looks that looks, it looks good I couldn't find any dress that I've ever worn before on at an event um but oh my god I cannot wait <laughs>
Yes, it's great to be with all of you, to the doctors and to the lawyers and the teachers of tomorrow, the artists and the entrepreneur, the engineers and the journalists who will shape our world to come. You made it.